the Sea of Cortez. This tranquil body of water lies in the southwesternmost corner of North America. It starts where the Colorado River ends and stretches some 700 miles in length. Sheltered from the Pacific Ocean by the Baja Peninsula, the warm waters of the Cortez cover nearly 60,000 square miles. It is a different world of turquoise and gold, of jagged rocks and volcanic craters. For me, it's like a, a desert drowned in emerald. Uh, it, without the ocean here, I mean, I can't imagine anyone even surviving. With the ocean, it's, it's like the harshest contrast of two elements that are as, as, uh, uh, as broadly opposite each other as I can think of. I mean, this is desert chocolate browns and mochas and blasted earth just drowned in this emerald beautiful water teeming with life. I mean, it was, it was really jarring in a way. Nestled on the mainland coast of Mexico, the busy port city of Wymus boasts a population of almost 200,000. Its streets and alleys are laced with people and shops where you can find almost anything you need. Unfortunately, growth has brought its problems. The waters of the sea sometimes reflect man's carelessness. The vessel, the Just Love, flagship of the Brooks Institute of Photography in Santa Barbara, California, begins its four-week expedition after replenishing supplies in the port town. The crew, led by Institute President Ernest H. Brooks II, set out with a mission to witness the beauty of the place and to capture it on film. My ideas about going to Brooks didn't really include all the stuff that I've done for BA 1, 2, and 3. They, my fantasy was more geared toward what we've been doing here and uh, it was real good for me to come down here because it, it really uh, made all the stuff from BA 1, 2, and 3 make sense. Life on board the ship was by no means easy. Every student who set foot on deck was expected and made to pull their weight. The chores involved in operating a boat are endless. Whether preparing the dive equipment or cooking and cleaning, this was to be a fully functional crew. When it quieted down, there was always time for reflection on the events of the day or just plain relaxing. The crew decides to spend a day on shore exploring some of the Sea of Cortez's many volcanic islands. Scouring the walls and faces of the crater, the students are off in search of that elusive cover shot. Further inland, the elephant trees prove to be excellent subjects with their odd shape and changing colors. This stone chapel is also of great interest. The local fishermen have erected it to keep them faithful during their seasonal work. After the heat and the dust, the water comes as a welcome relief. The sea lions give the cue to start relaxing. Oh, 
Like all good vessels, the Just Love has its share of fishing stories. Luckily, these guys have the video to prove it. Captain Mike relates the story. So I started chasing this big group around and kind of following them, following them, following them, and kind of tracking them down. And I came around the rock, and there he was sitting there, and it was like a natural reaction. I just, boom, I blasted him. And, uh, boom, that sucker took off and took all the, taking all the line out of the reel on the spear gun. And, uh, so I grabbed it, and I, I, I tried to grab it, and it, it was like, pop, 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 hitting my knuckles. Finally, I got grabbed the whole thing and held it, and then, boom, man, I took off on a little ride for about three or four minutes, maybe three minutes. I was getting towed underwater, man, about four knots, just feet flying behind me. And uh, he was going, 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 and going in between the rocks, and I was behind him, hanging on, hanging on, hanging on, and finally, I heard this clang, and I knew that uh, something was broke. So I went back to the boat, and as soon as I got up to the ladder, and I was climbing up the ladder, a guy that was on the boat, Robert, says, uh, Cause, hey, is that your fish that those guys are getting? I said, what fish? And he said, well, they just went over in the skiff. They said they got some big fish, and they're, they're, they're pick pulling it on the boat. And I was like, yeah. As the Just Love hugs the coastline, a group of dolphins move in to provide escort and a unique photo opportunity. They show the captain a more graceful way to cut through the waves. Good, Michael. Great. Not to be outdone, the finback whale causes a splash of its own by surfacing on the starboard side. Diving the Sea of Cortez is incredible. The sea is awash in such a variety of sea life that the photographer has almost too many options. The colors of the seafloor are rich and varied, whether it be the hues of the coral and starfish or the allure of the Cortez angel. The sea is also home to a host of others, including the porcupine fish, shovel-nose sharks, and stingrays. A perfect day of shooting is wrapped up with a visit by a curious killer whale. In the fading light, the close encounter between man and one of nature's giants is an awesome sight. As night overtakes the Just Love and her crew, a new spectacle begins. The sentinel cacti stand silent and watch over the vista. In the dark, the land and the sea become one. Maybe as nature intended, 
and man finds he is but only a part of it.